Anatomical terms, there are lots of them. We'll just learn one at a time and then they're not so bad. When we um, study positions and names, we always begin from the standard anatomical position. And if you see this um, colorful guy here, you can see there it is. Eyes facing forward, head is level, feet are flat, and the feet face forward, and they're spread about shoulder width. Arms are at the side, and the palms are facing forward. So that right there is the correct anatomical position. And we do that because then any movements away from that posture uh, have meaning. Because, you know, if, if we didn't have like a baseline, then if someone lifted their arm, what would we call that? Well, this may not make sense. So let's move on, and I think you'll understand. All right, some of the regions, the face, chest, breastbone, abdomen, navel, groin, palms, pubis, anterior surface, the knee, top of the foot. Now, those are English words, but we want to have an international language so that people in China, in Japan, Russia, uh, Indonesia, they can all understand us. So we use Latinized words. So facial, pectoral, sternal, abdominal, umbilical, inguinal, palmar, pubic, patellar, and dorsum. Let's take a look at the anterior region, which is the front of the body. The dorsal or posterior is the back. The skull, we call it the cranial. The neck is called cervical. Shoulder, acromial. Arm is the brachial, chest is the thoracic, elbow, the front of the elbow is called the cubital, we have the um, antecubital in the back, um, hip is the coxal, wrist is the carpal, thigh is the femoral, leg, um, crawl, and ankle is the tarsal. Again, those are Latinized, some of them are, are um, Greek as well. The neutral is the back of the neck, scapular is the shoulder blade. The interscapular is the area between, because the prefix inter means between, and there's a scapula, the um, shoulder blade. Vertebral is the spinal column, the lumbar is the loin, sacral is the hip, kind of the region between, gluteal, the buttocks, back of the hand is dorsum, Perineal is the pelvic outlets. Now, that seems like a weird word. That's where um, the vagina and the perianus, the area around the, the openings. Pavliteal is the hollow behind the knee. And the calcaneal is the heel. And at the bottom of our foot is the plantar, which in English is the sole. We also have planes and sections. Again, we don't do this just to confuse people. We do this so that when we are examining a patient, maybe there are images from uh, you know, x-rays or PET scans, we know exactly what part of the body we're looking at. Uh, so these planes are just imaginary surfaces passed through the body. We have a sagittal, which is a vertical plane. If you look at the diagram there, we have a mid-sagittal, which uh, divides the body into right and left halves. Uh, parasagittal is when we have unequal. So, so um, you can see in the diagram parasagittal off to the left of midsagittal. And again, you might think, well, why? Who cares? But what if there's a problem with that femur, and we take an image through the mid uh, parasagittal region? Then we then we can see, okay, oh, there's the bone or the muscle. Frontal or coronal is, as you can see, it's going to divide the body into a front, uh, anterior, and back, posterior. Transverse is sort of a cross-sectional one, and it divides the body into upper and lower. And finally, we have an oblique, and think of oblique being like an angle. And that's going to pass through the body at an angle between the transverse and either the sagittal or the frontal plane. Now take a moment to look at that and try to consider the oblique. You see it down on the leg, it's at an angle. 
Directional movements. I mentioned this earlier, and that's why we have that correct anatomical position because all movements begin from this position. So, uh, well, before I talk about movements, let's talk about just positions. Like superior, that doesn't mean it's better, it just means it's above or away from. Inferior, again, doesn't mean it's bad, it's just below or away from. So the knee, think of the knee, the knee is superior to the foot. The foot is inferior to the knee because it's below. Okay, now, now this takes some time. So we just, uh, I know I'm rushing through it and you'll have time to review. Anterior means the front, or at least nearer to the front, posterior the back. Medial, the midline. Lateral, away from the mid. And intermediate, in between. And these words, I'll be using them uh, again and again. So you, you'll, get, you'll have a chance to get comfortable with them. Directional, uh, we're still kind of in this position idea. Ipsilateral on the same side of the body. Uh, in this case, the fingers, ipsilateral. Contralateral, opposite sides. So if you look at the diagram on the far left, the two hands are on opposite sides of the body. Proximal, that is nearer to the attachment or, or the base of the limb. So proximal, let's see, where's our example? Hmm. Yeah, I guess the upper leg. Near the buttocks would be proximal because it's near the attachment to the torso. Distal is further from the origin of the structure, so distal down, let's say the foot, the diagram on the right, distal. Superficial means it's near or, or on the surface of the body. So when we're doing a, a dissection or surgery, superficial is going to be the skin, usually the skin. Deep is away from the surface, so there we're looking at fat. Uh, layers of muscle. Dorsal is the back and anterior is the front. Some more, uh, some more movements. Uh, cranial or cephalic is towards the head. We don't see that word so often. Rostral, we don't see that very often either. And that's towards the nose and the mouth. But someone who's in that area, um, ear, nose, and throat doctor, for example, will use that term frequently. Ventral is towards the belly, uh, right and left. I say that because, uh, do you see the diagram on the left? Her right, it's not your right. Like you might look at her right arm and say, well, that's the left side of her body. The way you're looking at it, it looks left, but it's her right. It's always your patient's uh, right or left. External is towards the outside of a structure. And as you might guess, internals on the inside of a structure. Alright, take some time, review these uh, because they're very useful, believe it or not. <laughs> okay, good luck with that.